Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are back with another first impression. This one is not as old as some of the first impressions I've been doing recently. I was just gonna pick up some very cheap foundation, uh, concealers, eyebrow stuff. That way I can continue to do my base and my generalized priming and, and neutralized state that you see me in here before we start doing some of the tutorials or first impressions with palettes that I've picked up recently. I've done that, I've gone ahead and, and gotten my base done. And we're gonna take a look at the Benefit Cosmetics Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette. It's a brand new cheek palette released by Benefit not too long ago. This one includes a really gorgeous, uh, nice bronzing shade, a beautiful highlighter, and then three cheek colors. Uh, when they put out their Cheek Parade palette, probably in 2017, it became one of my quick favorites. I've used it uh, for years, I still have it. In fact, it was one of those that I would use so regularly that I actually wound up kind of putting it into the back of my uh, my stash so that way I would start using some of my other stuff because it was always my go-to. So when I saw that they had released one that was uh, pretty much all new colors and ideas, I was like, I'm gonna get that and then I also get a cool free gift with it. So pick that one up. And then we're also going to do the Revolution Pro New Neutrals Blushed Palette. From what I've seen, these are newer palettes from Revolution Pro. They have put out three that I I know of and I picked up two of them. I believe it was uh, the blush palette, the passion palette, and I think they have a blue palette too. I know they have a blue palette, but I don't remember what it's called, like maybe the cool neutrals or something like that. Blues are not really my color scheme, so I did not bother getting that one yet, but I did want to test out uh, the uh, neutral, the blush neutrals. I want to call them the neutrals, but they're all neutral palettes. So this is what the inside of this one looks like. And they've got some really gorgeous colors in there. I think the color scheme I'm going to go with today is going to be more of a subdued one, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with rhubarb, uh, maybe hint, which is a really pretty multicolored dimensional shimmer shade. We've got bloom, which is this nice kind of peachy pink one. We've got prime and tone, some nice neutral shades in there. Just a lot to work with with this palette, but that's kind of the, the color scheme I'm thinking of going with today. I do particularly like that palette just for the shimmers that are included, which you guys know me and have watched a lot of my stuff. I don't normally go for shimmers. I normally choose it on matte shades and then I'll like to have one or two really beautiful shimmers in here, but this one has a lot of really pretty shimmers that I'm excited to work with. So without any further ado, we're gonna jump on here. I'm gonna get started with my, uh, my cheek stuff. We're gonna use Benefit Palette first. Uh, really quickly, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should consider doing that. Uh, we are really uh, trying to put out content as much as possible. So we'd love to have you in the Dark Angel family so you can uh, see everything that we post. So I am gonna go in now with Hula, which is the bronzing shade. I am not a huge like harsh contour fan. I like to give myself just a little bit of dimension to my cheeks. So uh, I normally do just a bronzing shade for my contour. Occasion oc occasionally, occasionally, I uh, feel wild and I do actually go with a contour palette and I do a real contour and it takes me like 20 years to blend it out because I just am not a fan of like dark, dark, dark colors uh, on my cheeks, but it is what it is. Hula I've used before from Benefit, so I'm not surprised that I like it. Um, it's one of my favorite bronzers. That and the Too Faced uh, chocolate bronzers, I really like those. I think they match my skin tone really well, so I definitely enjoy using that, and it's a nice one that I know I'm kind of comfortable with. Let's go in now with the blush. I'm gonna use Sugar Bomb. Sugar Bomb is the multi-dimensional blush that's all the way at the top up here. Uh, we do have Georgia and Dallas, which honestly, when I opened up the palette, I thought that they could potentially even be a really dark shade of highlighter potentially, but when you read the description of them, they are listed as blushes, so. I personally am a very big fan of uh, blushes that have multi colors that you swirl around to kind of make a nice cohesive color. So this one is very muted. It's really pretty though. It's definitely more of a subtle blush. Um, I think if you really wanted to, you could probably dig a little bit harder into the darker colors in the palette and make it a little bit more stand out, but it, it's very neutral and it seems to be one that would be very easy to kind of do day to day. All right, I'm gonna blend these in just a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with the uh, highlighter shade, which is Cookie, if I grab the right brush. Of course, that's what Cookie looks like. And I think, I don't know how it's gonna look, uh, but it looks like it's gonna be a really blinding, beautiful highlighter, so I'm kind of excited. This was what I was most excited about in this. The last cheek palette did not include a highlighter, so I'm pretty excited to see how this one looks. I really like it. It's definitely a very, it's very pigmented, and it's doing a nice job of kind of just sticking where I'm applying it. All right, 
So their cheeks and everything are done very muted. It is not really prominent. It's not a bad thing. I think this is definitely something that's like if you were looking for a nice soft subtle uh, makeup look, I think this palette's gonna be a good option. Yeah, I normally go with a little bit of darker colors just as a total. I probably would mix up the colors. Like I'm not sure that this is ne necessarily the palette that I would use for 100% of my face look, if I'm being honest, but I probably would grab it and use the, definitely the highlighter. I would use the bronzer as well, maybe not together. I don't hate it, but I don't like it as much as I was hoping I would, if that makes sense. Um, I think the blush shades are just a little more muted than what I'm hoping for. Maybe that's just because there are three blush shades and I liked the uh, Cheek Parade palette. The original one had so many different ranges. They had a light blush pa uh, shade. They had a peachy shade. Um, they had a kind of a more mauve dark, almost like dark purpley pink shade. So I feel like that maybe if I use some of the other blushes, I might like it more, I might not, I don't know. But not bad, it just, I'm not sure that I would recommend it at $60, which is what I paid for it, so. Yeah, moving on, let's do the eyeshadow now. Like I said, we're gonna start with rhubarb, which is this one right here. I'm gonna do rhubarb, and then I'm gonna go and blend it in with blue. And we're gonna see what we can make happen with those two shades and then go from there. All right, so that's rhubarb. Rhubarb is a lot pinker than I thought it was gonna be like a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be actually. It's applying well, it's going on smoothly, it's not really leaving patchy areas, but it definitely, the color is definitely different than what I was expecting. So I'm actually probably gonna grab one of the darker colors and mix it in a little bit. Maybe Scarlet, which is like kind of like a darker purple. So we lost power yesterday for like a majority of the day. I would say, I think from like 145 to 240, I'm sorry, 245 to 445 we lost it. Uh, which was, it was just weird because we've had bad storms the past few days, but like it was bright and sunny outside. And I think what happened was maybe some of the other people in our neighborhood had damage. When they came to check it out, they had to pull our lines down to take care of it. Okay, so I did pick up a little bit of Scarlet, which is the darker purple shade. And I'm just gonna go in and, and add a little bit of darkness, hopefully to this area. But anyway, we've had pretty bad storms here the past few days, um, especially like in the middle of the night, which is when I go into work. So pretty much every night I've driven into work in the this, this storms, but it's been, it was like really calm and it was really sunny and, and nice out yesterday. And then all of a sudden we were without power. Let me tell you, if you've ever been uh, without power during quarantine, I'm so sorry. If anybody else has lost power during this, I know there's like a lot of stuff that's happened. Um, a lot of really bad stuff more than just losing power. Honestly, just kind of like, what do I even do? Uh, and that sounds awful but I love technology and we were about to film and Nikki was working from here and then all of a sudden the power was out and he was like, I don't, what do we even do? So uh, it was it was an interesting day yesterday. So just roughly applied it. I like the way it's applying, but I need to see what else I can do with it, if that makes sense. I'm not thrilled with it at the moment. So, um, so we're going with Bloom, which is the lighter pink shade and I'm just gonna give it a rough like blend. I will say it seems to be blending very nicely together. All the colors seem to be mixing really well. Even the purple, when I went and added it to the pink, kind of just naturally played off of the color that was already there and did go in and darken it up like I was hoping it would, which I love. I love that. That makes it so much easier to work with a palette when it's like that. Okay, I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna go in with Hint, which is that dark purple, multi-faceted glitter shade and I'm gonna do that on my under eye. I don't normally do glitter on my under eye, like in the back corner, but I think it's gonna look kind of cool. And it, it, it actually is a very subtle glitter. Like it's there, but it's not a lot, if that makes sense. Which I kind of like. It's almost like a little highlighter on my under eye instead of like being an actual eyeshadow color. And I'm now, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in just for the fun of it with Luster, which is this one. I'm gonna do that with my finger and I'm gonna put just a little bit of glitter Actually, I lie, I'm gonna adjust first. I'm gonna put a hint on my uh, lash, or my lash. I'm gonna put a hint on my uh, eyelid first. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit of color and a little bit of glimmer as a base. And then I'm gonna go in on top of it with Luster because I found that with those um, chunky glitter shades, it typically works a little bit better if you have some sort of base color under it. And then it can kind of play off that. So we're gonna do that first. So that way I'm not like, oh, I should have done this after I'm already done. Yeah, that's really the way to go with these chunky glitter shades is just to get like a little bit of a base and then put it on top of it. This shade though is a lot more orange than I was expecting it to be. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not loving how this is looking right now. I'm kind of actually really not liking it at all. In fact, I was hoping the loose glitter was gonna make it better and it's not. So I think to make it work, I'm gonna have to go in and add a little bit of a dark color onto the back, like a little darker than what we have currently. 
I'm actually gonna go in with Roasted, which is like a darker brown color. I think with the kind of coppery shade that's going on with the dark glitter, this might help. The soft thing is, is that the colors are actually really blending very well. They are very, very cohesive. They are working really well. I don't dislike the formula. I'm just not happy with what's coming out right now. And that may just be like, I'm just having an off day or I'm just not happy with it because that happens to me so frequently where I do my makeup and I'm like, I hate the way this looks right now. And that's what I'm hardcore feeling at the moment. So I'm just not, I'm just not liking it. I'm probably not, there's probably no way I'm gonna save this where I'm like, oh, I really like how this turned out. We're gonna have those days here. <laughs> along for the journey with me. I'm just not happy with how the colors are playing with each other and I don't know why because I feel like on the palette they look like these are all colors that would really work well and I'm just unhappy with it. Um, I'm gonna take the light shade of Prime and just kind of do a little bit of an over dusting, kind of mute out some of the backsides of everything. I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara on my under eye as well. I'm not gonna do like a whole wing or anything like that. Cause once again, I mean, we are in quarantine. So it's not like I'm going anywhere. I don't think there's any saving this. I'm not happy. I'm not, it's not great. It's, yeah. It... All right. So that's the final product. I will be hundred percent honest. I'm not thrilled with it. Um, it could be worse. It could definitely be better. Um, it's not one of my favorite looks, especially not one of the ones that I've created recently. Truthfully, I think what it is, is for whatever reason, I'm just not happy with the colors that I chose to go with for this particular eye look. Nikki said he likes it. He's being nice and supportive. It may not be awful. It's just, I just can't put my finger on what I'm not happy with. I think the best option is going to be for me to just play with it more outside of the studio and work with it without being in front of the camera and see if maybe it was that I just didn't like the colors and the ones that I chose to work with together, if they didn't work cohesively, if it was a loose glitter shade, if I had chosen the other glitter shade, if it might've been better. I don't know. Um, it, like I said, it's not the worst, but it's definitely not my favorite. Uh, so of the two palettes we have, we'll take another look at them. We've got the Cheek Stars, 60 bucks. I would say probably not. Just being 100% honest, I think the Cheek Parade, which is no longer available as far as I'm concerned. Um, I haven't seen it on the market in a hot minute. Um, I think that was a much better palette in terms of what you got with it. I do like the, um, the highlighter a lot. I mean, you do get a, a good number of options, but $60 is pretty steep for a palette. I don't normally pay $60 for a palette. Um, I did it for probably more of the nostalgia reason of the, my love for the Cheek Parade and then the fact that I got a dope uh, carrying case with it. But if I had realized, I probably would not have spent the 60 on it, just 100% honestly. Uh, the Revolution Pro, so this is only a $20 palette. Again, I, it does have gorgeous colors. It's not that it doesn't have beautiful colors, it really does. And the formula is good. It's not that they don't work well together. They absolutely do. They blend really seamlessly and they go on easily. There's not a ton of fallout, which I appreciate. I just am not happy with what happened on my eyes today. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not worth it. Just means that uh, I'm gonna need to investigate more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, it's not always gonna come out perfectly. I am a real human doing real things. And uh, if I like it, I'm gonna post it. And if I don't like it, I'm still gonna post it because it's what we're here to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out just an absolute ton. Other than that, I, uh, I hope you guys are just having a really wonderful day. You're staying safe. Uh, I hope you don't lose power because it was not fun in quarantine. That was terrible. Zero out of 10 stars, would not do it again. Uh, and other than that, I just hope you guys stay girly with a dark twist.